problem, we're going to use the distributive property to multiply a monomial through a polynomial. So let me do some underlining here to help us organize. So I'll organize the first part of the polynomial with blue and the second part with green. So here we effectively have a monomial being distributed against a binomial, blue and green. So I'm going to put an arrow over this and an arrow over this because that's going to be our process. Okay, so for in the first part, we're going to take the part that's out in front, the 3, z to the 5th, and then we're going to multiply that by the object that is underlined in blue. And that's a 7. The connector symbol in here that made it a polynomial was a minus sign, so I'm going to put a minus there to distinguish the two parts of the binomial. And then in the second part, we're going to have a 3, z to the 5th, and that's going to be multiplied by the second quantity in the polynomial, which was a 6z squared. So this turns the problem into two products of monomials, which can be simplified uh, via, via easier techniques here. 3 times 7 is 21, z to the power of 5, subtracted by 3 times 6, which is 18, and then z to the fifth times z squared, which is a total of seven copies of z, five from here and two from over there. So the final answer here would be 21 z to the fifth minus 18 z to the seventh. Okay, with that, why don't you try doing one on your own? So pause the video and see if you can figure out how to perform this problem on your own. And assuming you've given it a good shot here and tried it on your own, let me underline the first part with blue, the second part with green, and the third part with this orange here. So we're going to have to distribute a monomial through a trinomial here. And so again, I'm going to put in my little arrows for my distributive property. And then we're going to perform the distributive property of this monomial through the trinomial. So in the first place, we'll have a 6x to the fifth multiplied by 5x, connector symbol is minus, separating us from the green part, and then we'll have a 6x to the fifth, and that's going to be multiplied by 10x cubed, because that's the green part, and then our next connector symbol is a plus sign, 6x to the fifth, and in the last instance we're going to be multiplied by the number 7. So therefore, the final answer to the problem will be, well, let's see here, 6 times 5 is 30, 5 copies of x plus 1 additional copy of x means we'll have x to the 6th. Remember, when there's no exponent, that means 1 copy of x. 6 times 10 here would be 60. Then we have 5 plus 3 many copies of x, that's x to the 8th, plus 6 times 7, which is 42, and we only have the initial 5 copies of x here. So the final answer would be 30 x to the 6th minus 60 x to the 8th plus 42 x to the 5th.